Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do this morning is talk a little bit about side roughing using the profile operation. Now, side roughing is something that some of you might not even know exists within 1CNC, and it's definitely there, so let's talk about that. Let's say that we want to rough out this material right here. Now, typically, you might use a pocket operation or a facing operation to do that. That's perfectly all right, but you can also use the profile operation to side rough all this out. Let's measure first how much of this area we need to rough. So I'm going to head over to the Verify browser in the lower right hand corner of the screen and let's use this option right here. This tool is used for measuring the distance between two points. So I'm going to left click and left click. And if we look over here, we can see that that distance along the Y axis is two inches. All right, so that's the amount we want to rough. All right, let's head over to the command manager and go into our stock tool paths. Now side roughing is available in both the mill profile basic and mill profile advanced. Let's just use mill profile basic for this example. I'm going to take my cursor, I'm going to left click the edge that I'd like to machine and then these arrows determine the side and the direction. I want a climb cut on the outside so I'm going to left click that arrow and I'm done selecting all the geometry so I can right click and right click one more time to tell one CNC we're finished selecting the geometry. You can use any type of tool that you'd like. I'm using a 5 8 diameter end mill for this. Let's click next on that. And I have our final Z depth set to minus 312 thousandths. That looks good, let's click next. And for our entry and path settings, I think that looks good, so we'll click next. All right, so here is where you can perform side roughing. Now typically this is unchecked, but if we click this, we can type in the distance that we want to perform the side roughing. We know that's two inches, so we've typed in two inches. And now this option at the top of the dialog box becomes active. If you don't have this checked, this information here never gets used. This only gets used when you're performing side roughing. So let's click that. So this is going to be the amount of the step over the tool takes as it makes each pass. You can type in a percentage of the tool diameter or you can uncheck this and type in a decimal. I'm going to leave this to percentage of tool diameter at 65%. We'll click next on that. We don't need an additional finish pass, so we'll click next. And for finishing, I'm just using the line style for both the lead in and lead out. And I'm putting in a lead in length just a little bit bigger than the radius of the tool. And for lead in angle, I have zero. And notice how my entry values and exit values are exactly the same. Let's click finish on that and let one CNC generate the tool path. And there we go. We've got nice side roughing provided by the one CNC mill profile command. Let's preview this. I'm going to head over to the NC manager, right hand mouse click and select preview tool paths. And you can see now that each pass starts outside of the part and then continues past the part. And we've also specified climb milling. That looks great. And if you'd like, you can also leave material on this edge for a finished pass. Now, if you'd like to see another powerful feature provided by the 1CNC profile operations, watch this video.